causes big disasters but is usually solved at the end. The solution of a story is how the story ended and it is how the story fixed its conflict. Making one is simple. There is no right or wrong way to make a story map. Step 1. Identify the title, author, characters, setting, plot, problem, and solution. Step 2. Do a quick brainstorm. Step 3. Start to draw the story map. Step 4. Fill in all the gaps on the graphic organizer with your ideas. Step 5. Study your ideas and make a final output. Discuss the main character components of a story. Title and Author Cinderella by Charles Perrault Characters Cinderella, Fairy Godmother, Goose and Jack, Drizella, Anastasia, Prince, King, and Lady Tremaine Setting The story takes place a long time ago in a land ruled by a king and a queen Plot Cinderella, the beautiful and kind-hearted daughter sees her world turn upside down when her beloved mother dies and her pained father remarries another woman, the wicked lady Tremaine, who has two equally cruel daughters, the jealous Anastasia and Grisella. Problem: Cinderella wants to go to the ball but her stepmother prevents her from going by giving her more course than she can complete. Solution. Prince Charming took Cinderella by the hand and made her his bride. Cinderella and Prince Charming live happily ever after. Title and Author Tangled by Ben Smiley Characters Rapunzel, Mother Gothel, Finn Rider Setting The setting of the story takes place deep in the forest team a tall tower. Blood Rapunzel is a fairy tale about the love between a young prince and a girl with long blonde hair that conquered all of the witch evil intentions. They were persistent in their intentions and being happy together and the witch was their biggest obstacle. Years passed by and their love grew stronger. Problem The main problem was Rapunzel being trapped in the tower. Solution The prince released Rapunzel into the woods. Flynn cut Rapunzel's hair and it makes Gothel look so old. Now, Rapunzel can live a happily ever after with Flynn. Good morning class! Bring out your assignments and let us discuss the said topic. Based on your research, what is SQ3R? SQ3R stands for Survey, Question, Read, Recite, and Review which are the five steps proposed by Robinson when actively and effectively reading one specific text. SQ3R is an excellent technique for using with textbooks that contain a lot of information and require you to learn it truly. This category includes textbooks in many disciplines, including biology, psychology, and sociology. The main goal is to assist students in efficiently and actively working on reading and comprehending educational text. However, it can be beneficial to anyone who relies on written information in their work, studies, or leisure time, and wishes to better understand it. All of you are correct. Gabrielle, define the S in SQ3R. The S stands for survey, is to skim the material to get sense of the main topic and further the introduction, second, take a look at the headings and the said headings, third, examine the image, third, and graph, fourth, read the chapter summary, lastly, examine the study question of the chapter. Tin, define the Q, John Lloyd, define the first R, Justin, define the second R, for the last R, it is 4 JV. Q is for question. It helps in navigating your reading. Before reading the paragraphs in the section, turn the first heading in the chapter into a question. The first R stands for read. Look for answer to the question you pose as you read. When reading, keep the following tips in mind. The main idea is usually stated in the first sentence of each paragraph. To help you follow the author's point, look for transition words such as next for Example, in contrast, and additionally, only the most important points should be highlighted. Too much highlighting can make it difficult to distinguish between the main point and supporting details. The second R stands for recite. 
Examine the question you created or those at the end of the chapter after you finish reading. As you read, jot down notes in the margins or in a notebook. Do not simply copy information from the textbook. Instead, summarize the main points and ideas of the textbook in your own words. And once you finish reading, take the time to recite or recall whatever you can remember. The last R stands for review. After you've finished the chapter using the preceding steps, go back over the questions you created for each heading and answer them. Check to see if you are still able to respond to them. If not, go back and review your notes before proceeding. Now, let us watch a short video consisting one example of SQ3R organizer after you are expected to brainstorm and make another one related to the topic presented. issues occurred the Philippines in the year 2021, and serious human rights violation persisted in the Philippines. On September 15, the International Criminal Court, ICC, agreed to launch a formal investigation into possible crimes against humanity committed during President Rodrigo Duterte's War on Drugs from 2016 to 2019 as well as extrajudicial executions committed in Davao City. Philippines from 2011 to 2016 and one of the major issues that occurs in the year 2021, civilians are being killed and the government's counter-insurgency campaign includes red tagging, activists and others accusing them of being combatants or supporters of the communist New People's Army. Many of those who have been red tag are killed as are sold. Journalists who cover the insurgency or investigate abuses and corruption face harassment and violence as well. However, there were fewer serious COVID-19 related rights violations in the Philippines during the second year of the pandemic, which resulted in harsh treatment of quarantine violators by law enforcement. Children and the elderly were prevented from leaving their homes due to age-based movement restrictions for those under the age of 18 and over the age of 65, though the government eased these restrictions in October. In addition, in October, Maria Reza, the co-founder and executive editor of the news website Rappler, was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for defending media freedom specifically for opposing the Duterte government's attempts to silence the press. In fact, the Philippine government and the United Nations launched a joint human rights program in July to address human rights violation and accountability shortcomings in the country, reflecting domestic and international concern about drug war killings. Human rights organizations, including Human Rights Watch, have criticized the program and have called for an independent international investigation. In other issues that occur in 2021, Philippine civil law states that a person can only be legally married at the age of 18. However, this law does not apply to Muslims. Under another law, a Muslim boy can marry at the age of 15, while a Muslim girl can be married off when she reaches puberty. The proposed Girls Not Brides Act, which has been passed by both houses of the Philippine Congress and is now awaiting President Duterte's signature, will make it illegal for anyone to marry a child and will make it a criminal offense to officiate such as a union. According to the UN, 
one out of every six Filipino girls marry before the age of 18. And according to legislators, the Philippine currently has the lowest age of sexual consent in Asia and one of the lowest in the world. In a 2015 study on the violence against children in the Philippines, UNICEF reported that one in every five Filipino children had their first sexual encounter between the ages of 13. I am going to distribute papers containing the text we're going to use. You have 10 minutes to read the text and we're going to apply the SQ3R type of graphic organizer. Here is another article to be applied with SQ3R. Gabriel will do the survey, Justine will make the questions, Jen Lloyd will make a summary of the text and recite it to the class. JV and Christine will answer the question made by Gabriel. The topic of the text is all about COVID-19. The text title is Coronavirus Disease. The text organized in a way that readers or researchers can find brief and specific answer. There is a photo that it is a blue circle with lots of form. These are the questions I've made. What is COVID-19? What are the symptoms of coronavirus disease? How can we prevent infection? Coronavirus is a disease originate from China. The disease requires social distancing, washing of hands, using alcohol, and wearing a face mask. Infected people may experience mild to moderate illness if you know you have the symptom. It can isolate yourself to prevent infection. Get your vaccine now. Coronavirus disease, COVID-19, is an infectious disease caused by SARS-CoV-2 virus. Most common symptoms are fever, cough, tiredness, loss of taste or smell. Less common symptoms are sore throat, headache, aches, and pains, diarrhea, a rash on skin or discoloration of fingers or toes, red or irritated eyes. Serious symptoms Difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath, loss of speech or mobility, or confusion, and lastly, chest pain. To prevent infection and to slow transmission of COVID-19, do the following. Get vaccinated when a vaccine is available to you. Stay at least one meter apart from others even if they don't appear to be sick. Wear a properly fitted mask when physical distancing is not possible or when in poorly ventilated things. Choose open well ventilated spaces over closed ones. Open a window if indoors. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water or clean them with alcohol-based hand rub. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. If you feel unwell, stay home and self-isolate until you recover. What an excellent activity! You have understood the use of SQ3R immediately. All of you applied the type of graphic organizer correctly. See you tomorrow, class.